everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is cycle three, week 24. This will be the last video for this cycle, but I will be back for the next cycle come fall. So stay tuned for those videos. Today is a science video, which means that we are, are talking about natural selection. Now we talked a little bit about natural selection already when we did the evolution video, but we're going to go further in depth talking about natural selection. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to this channel. And if you would like to support the channel, I will put a link in the description. It's through a website called Buy Me A Coffee. Without further ado, let's start doodling. Natural selection is the idea that members of a species are not all alike. And this is due mainly because they all have different genetics. Some of the differences that a specific organism has may make it better at surviving, and it is thought that it will then be more likely to reproduce. When these organisms reproduce, they pass on these favorable traits that help them to survive in the habitat they are in to the next generation. And then those organisms pass their favorable traits on to the next generation after that. And over time, this helps these organisms adapt to their environment better. While the organisms that do not have favorable traits in this species are weeded out. Now, the idea of natural selection was proposed by Darwin and he chose the name natural selection to contrast the name artificial selection. Artificial selection is when humans choose favorable traits that they want in a certain species and they breed specifically for those traits. An example of this is thought to be the process of selecting favorable traits in dogs. People can select to breed dogs that have traits that make them good at herding sheep or cows, or they may select to breed traits that make the animal good at retrieving things. Another example of this would be in fruits and vegetables. Across the years, many fruits and vegetables have been changed through this process of artificial selection, where people have chosen to make fruits have bigger fruit pieces or smaller seeds. There is a famous case study that supports this idea of natural selection, and that is the study of peppered moth evolution. Now, there are many other examples, but oftentimes this is the main one that scientists come back to when they're talking about natural selection. In the past, peppered moths were mostly light in color, and were, there were only a few moths that had dark colors. At first, these light colored moths survived better because they were camouflaged against the light color of the trees. And because they could camouflage against the trees, it made it hard for predators like birds to see them. Now, when the Industrial Revolution happened and many factories were built, a lot of pollution started being pumped out into the environment. This soot turned the trees black. Now, the birds could see the light colored moths and they began to prey on them. In this instance, the dark colored moths of the same species had an advantage because they could blend into the dark color of the trees. So, the majority of moths in this species then became dark because the birds ate all of the light ones and the dark ones survived and passed their traits on to the next generation. The Second World War came and with it many controls against pollution happened. This made it possible for the bark on the trees to become lighter again. 
and it also made it possible for these light colored mauves to succeed more than the dark colored mauves. Another example of natural selection are in the deer mice of the sand hills of Nebraska. Deer mice were typically a dark brown color, but there were some that were light brown. And when they migrated to the sand hills, the dark brown deer mice did not do as well camouflaging themselves against the sand. So the light brown deer mice succeeded better and lived longer, which allowed them to reproduce. As a result, there was a genetic change in the deer mice of the sand hills that favored the light brown colored fur. And that's all we have today. It's important to note that just because we do see some instances of natural selection being something that happens in our world, that doesn't mean that evolution is true. That just means that God made differences in genes so that the organisms he created in his creation can learn to survive and not become extinct. What an awesome world we live in. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care.